Hey folks, just going for a stroll here with number one son, Indigo. Say hi, Indigo. And uh, we're just having a discussion about being natural and being authentic. And uh, you, you'll notice on YouTube, YouTube, uh, YouTubers as they are called, or we are called maybe, um, some people will be authentic and that is very obvious, they're just being themselves. Others will put on an act by, by putting on an act, putting on an act on purpose. And uh, some people will put on an act pretending that that act is, uh, is them being themselves when it's not. And uh, probably not such a good idea to do that because, you know, peop many people will see through it. Some people, a lot of people won't, but many people will see through that and uh, be put off by that, you know. Let's see if this dog can. Shh. Shh. Hey, doggies. Hey, doggies. You're on YouTube. Check it out. You doggies on YouTube, you're famous. Yeah. The dog on the right used to have one just, uh, just like him years ago. Um, so yeah, so it's interesting because somebody once said to me, who had watched my videos and met them met me in person, said, you're different in person than you are in your videos. And, uh, oh, really? Because I, I don't really see myself as being any different on, uh, on my videos as, as I am in person. I'm just, I just talk, I'm just myself. Um, but what it actually is, is naturally, I'm, uh, I'm a little introvert, naturally. That's just the, the way I was growing up, I just naturally a little bit introvert. Um, and to kind of make videos that people are interested in and um, engage people, you need to be maybe a little bit extrovert. And it's something that I, I realized many years ago, well actually somebody brought it up to me many, many years ago, um, uh, a girlfriend that I had at the time said to me, you know, you're really introvert. And she got really annoyed once because I was out with her and her friend. And when I spoke to them, I could only, I could only focus on one person at a time. So when I spoke to them, I just spoke directly to her. And for me to take my eyes from one person to another person while I was talking was really difficult for me. And that is, you know, a common trait of somebody who's introvert. Um, so she was annoyed at that, saying that I was ignoring her friend. I wasn't ignoring her friend. I just find it difficult to engage more than one person at a time. One of the signs of being an introvert. So, um, with that realization, she had this book on psychology. And that actually gave me an interest in psychology then because she, uh, she showed it to me and said, okay, this is an introvert person, this is an extrovert person. And she was into all this. And... Uh, and she read all the different traits and everything. All right, yeah, guess you're right, you know. Um, not my fault then. I wasn't ignoring your friend. I'm just simply introvert. But then I thought, well, you know, if I want to be able to impact a lot of people, if I want to be um, a, a great teacher and, um, you know, pass on information and, and do whatever, uh, being introvert isn't really a, a good way of being to do that. So I needed to... Uh, activate my extrovert self, so to speak. So that's something that I kind of worked on over the years. Um, when I was with a group of people, I would actually consciously look from one person to another person as I was speaking, um, and uh, various things like that. And just build it up and build it up over time. So now I'm no longer introvert or extrovert. I'm actually ambivert. <laughs> and uh, so that's basically someone who's can be introvert or extrovert given the, the circumstances. So depending on the circumstances, I can either, either be introvert or extrovert, de depending on what, what is needed. It's just something I've trained myself to do. So I'm still being myself when I kind of activate my extrovert self, but it's just a case of activating it. I just switch myself on, and then that is my extrovert self, but it's still me, right? Um, so, the 
just got to the top of a hill. <laughs> so, where were we in to go? What have you got to say? I completely lost my train of thought. So I may reverse it back to the station. While I'm doing that, you can have a chat. See his cool little necklace? Little surfer dude necklace. That's to uh, remove acid, help him with teething. Pretty cool. So the message is, is be yourself, you know, be, be yourself, be natural, be your authentic self. And uh, just, just understand the difference between extrovert and introvert and the value in both. And that it's, uh, it's a good idea to be able to cultivate both. Some situations, um, the extrovert person will take over the situation, will take over the room. And sometimes that can be uh, maybe annoying for everyone when this one particular person takes over every single time. Um, so to just have an awareness of, you know, if you are introvert or if you are extrovert, and when that is, uh, that is useful to either be one or the other. Some more doggies. You're on YouTube, doggies, you're famous. Hi. Um, so yeah, if you're not aware of it, look it up. If you're not aware of what you are, introvert or extrovert, look it up. Um, look it up online, see all the different character traits and the different personality traits um, of someone who's introvert, someone who's extrovert, and by doing that, you'll get a better idea of yourself, and the more we know about ourselves and why we do the things we do, why we behave the way we behave, the, the more we know ourselves, the more we can become of our true selves. And uh, even if you are introvert, and you want to do something like make YouTube videos, speak to audiences, teach groups of people, you can train it into yourself. You can train it into yourself and still be yourself at the same time. You can still be yourself at the same time of training in uh, different traits, personality traits, um, habits, things like that. So uh, that's it for me. That's the message. Be yourself, be natural, and at the same time, train in what is necessary for you to uh, accomplish what you want to accomplish in life. That's it for me. That's it from number one son. Till next time, see you soon. Stop. Won't stop Indigo, what do I do?